Hello, my name is Kayla Myers. Today I will be doing a quick demonstration of the Ambius Web Client. The Ambius Web Client can be accessed both internally or externally. You would need a web server set up on your DMZ to be able to access it externally. Some of the core features of the web client are document retrieval, persistent check-in, check-out of documents, multiple document browser windows, double-click for cross-references, HTML e-form support, view and edit document keywords, image rotation, rubber band zooming, fit to page. It has the native Highland viewer that supports things like text, images, cold, and so forth. It does also support the third-party plugin, such as P uh, PDS or Microsoft Office. It does allow for multiple page thumbnails, re-indexing of existing documents, remote indexing of Ambi's scan batches, import and scan new documents, document text search by text number, full text indexing support, custom query retrievals, server-side batch printing, clinic um, client-side local printing of documents with overlays, client-side emailing of documents with overlays, API interfaces are documented for third-party programming. There are many other features to the Ambase web client, but these are just to name a few. So let's go ahead and get logged into the web client to take a look at it. The web client is accessed via a URL, or you could create a shortcut on your desktop. So let's log in. This is the main screen you will see once you log in. It automatically defaults to your document retrieval. Similar to any other retrieval in any of the other OnBase clients, you can select your document type, you can select a date range, enter any keywords, and do a search. You have other things down here, such as your query history. Um, you can retrieve by a document handle ID. You can clear your keywords, and you can clear everything if you wanna start over. Your menu is always these three bars here on the left-hand side. So we have document retrieval, custom queries. Again, you would see any query that you have access to in the system. You would enter in the information that's needed for the query and do your search. You could create a new form. So any forms that you have access to. This is an interview guide e-form or maybe you want a time off request that's a unity form. If you have access to these forms, you are able to retrieve them within the OnBase web client. You can import a document very similar to any other import. You would browse to the location of the file you want to import. You would provide the document type group, document type. Uh, the file type would automatically pull from the document you're importing. You have your document date, of course, any uh, key set lookups, and then your keywords. There's also scanning a document. Same idea. You could scan if you had a scanner attached to your computer. Let's go into our workflow. You'll notice OnBase workflow did open in a new window. We can make this window a little bit larger. We can see all the, the workflow queues that we have access to. I'm sorry, the on-base workflow life cycles we have access to and the queues within them that we have access to. If we had anything in here, we would see our items to display. We have our ad hoc test here, um, but we don't have anything in our workflow to go through today. So let's go ahead and close that. If we want to go to work view, we have that option. We can see our map viewer. If you did um, document knowledge transfer, any type of collaboration, status view. If you have folders, maybe for your HR system or any other foldering system, you can open those from the OnBase web client.
Once I open an employee folder, I still have all my tabs here. I still have my list of documents here. But again, you'll notice it did open it in a different window. So we can make that window larger and we can of course close the window. Go back to our main menu here. Uh, for the user, we can see our mailbox, envelopes, any locked objects we have. We can open our administration. Administration is limited to our users, web diagnostics, and any logging profiles. And lastly, we can go to our reporting dashboards gallery. So we cannot configure any reports here, but we can definitely look at any reports that we have already configured in our dashboards. So the OnBase web client is a very powerful tool. It's something that's nice because users do not need to have anything installed on their computers. It's just a URL you would provide and they can access it. If you have any questions or would like any further information, please contact us at RPI and have a great day. Thank you so much.